Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Hey, I've mentioned before that this is a week that you really shouldn't be trading. It's in between the Christmas and New Year's holiday. Volume is thin, volatility can be great. I also mentioned in the last video that there's a 70% chance that this week the market goes up. Well, it has gone up for a couple of days, and my analysis is beginning to tell me that we may have a turnaround taking place here. It may decide to want to top out and start coming down. I've done a little research on that to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Don't fall in love with the long side of this market. Let me show you a few charts and explain why. Okay, traders, this is the March S&P chart. As I mentioned, don't fall in love with the upside. Right here, we have major resistance. The market is only looking to test, possibly test that resistance. However, look at the averages converging right here. We have our proprietary average and the 200-day moving average, both coming together right above the market. Indicators, which I'll show you in a few moments, are starting to look like the market wants to turn. So here's the S&P running into resistance and running into the top shoulder, the left shoulder over here of the head and shoulders formation that we've been looking at for quite some time. Makes perfect sense that we are seeing resistance here and that indicators are pointing towards a market getting tired of this run. Okay, next chart I'm showing you here is the SPY or the S&P cash. And you have the same thing taking place in the cash market. I, can, I think I could draw that a little better. Let's look at that right there. You have your resistance right up here. You also have support. And we are coming towards the end of an apex. I will cover a lot about the apex that we're getting to in the coming webinar video that we're going to put out for you in the next couple of days. Stay tuned for that video. For now, I just want to illustrate how the market does look like it's getting a little tired up here. And you have the same thing. You have two averages converging in the same place just above the highs today in the S&P cash. I think that we will maybe see this resistance tested with around the 1497 level in the cash S&P. I don't know if it even has the strength to go that high. Again, you have the top of the right, the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. All we've done was get to the area of the top of the left shoulder. And indicators became, indicators became, I guess, slightly negative already. So let's take a look at a few more charts and see what we think. The Dow Jones looks very much like the S&P futures and the S&P cash. You have the resistance above. The market just makes it to our proprietary average right here and slows right down. Granted, it is above the 200-day right now. But we are in a holiday week with very low volume. So the fact that it is above the 200-day really has no credence with me right now. But the fact that we have the resistance above and again, the head, shoulder, the shoulder, head, shoulder formation running into the resistance up here. Never even tested the head. End indicators are getting bearish. It's another chart of the indice market telling us that likelihood is you should not fall in love with the upside of this market. Okay, traders, what we're looking at now is the NASDAQ, the March contract. You know, in the last video I mentioned, follow the leader. The NASDAQ always leads the way first, and then the S&P catches up. Well, interestingly enough, the NASDAQ, because it's been thin this week, got itself above the resistance. It's sitting right here right now, but I do not think that that will last very long. Right here is an important level around the 2175, 2180 level. That would represent the top of the head of our head and shoulders formation. We don't want to take out the top. If we took out the head and settled above it, the likelihood is you'd get a greater rally and it would negate the entire head and shoulders formation. Remember that we are talking about trading in the middle of Christmas and New Year's. Anything can happen in markets. That's why I think that you've seen the NASDAQ blow up a little bit further than it should have. 
the S&P and the Dow, which are larger markets, have shown the difference where they did not move up nearly as far and they haven't even tested their resistance lines yet. However, NASDAQ is the leader, so do expect the market to follow that. I will say this about the NASDAQ. If you are looking at charts right now, NASDAQ's already beginning, beginning to put in a little bit lower tick leading into Thursday night, Wednesday evening, Thursday night. Oh, wait, let me back that up. It's Tuesday evening into Wednesday night, isn't it? Or is this Wednesday night into Thursday evening? Wednesday into Thursday This is Wednesday into Thursday. Move. The tick that you will see on your charts, if you have live data, will show you the NASDAQ is already beginning to back off here. Another market which we can categorize as a leader of the indices is the Mini Russell, the ER2H. 08, if you will. The mini Russell, like the NASDAQ, got above the resistance, stayed there for a day, is already putting in a little dash that it wants to head lower, and our proprietary average, it got right up to that average and cooled right off. Another indicator telling us that likely we have some downside coming. Here are the indicators for the indice markets. Stochastics is already beginning to get tired down here. You can see that it's beginning to hook and the yellow and red are beginning to cross. Our ADX indicator, average directional movement, is already pointing towards the downside. Whereas you have the positive pointing down, the negative pointing up. That is generally a sign that the market's getting tired and wants to head lower. Relative strength index already beginning to hook, showing it wants to go lower. And you have the Commodity Channel Index doing the same exact thing. The CCI indicator is already showing signs of tiredness. And we've only had a rally for a couple of days here, traders. So you have indicators pointing lower. You have a market running into resistance on many charts. And you also have our proprietary average that we like to use at our site, showing that the market is getting tired. There is some good reason technically why if you are, if you do have to trade this week, or you do choose to trade this week, start looking at possibly selling into this rally. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts, you see the analysis, the market does look like you're getting a turnaround here. You may get another day rally out of this, and then down will likely come. Remember, this is a holiday week. It is very thinly traded. Most funds have closed down for the year. Most traders who can take vacation at this time of year are on vacation. So anything can happen, which is why we don't put out recommendations. But I will say, if you must trade, I'll say it again. Start looking at selling into the rallies here. I think that this rally will be short-lived. All right, traders, I will say this. Don't trade alone. Don't sit by yourselves at your computers. You can come to our site where there are hundreds of people that gather constantly sharing information and we trade all together in a room and we help one another get through the day. The information flow is fantastic and we are there. The Omni Trading Academy is there every day and every night to help you. So come on down to our site. Grab yourself a membership. We are at www.livewithoscar.com. Get a membership and join the ever-growing crowd that we have, a community of traders here at our site. You will love it, traders. There's something for everybody there. It's geared for the novice trader who's never traded a contract, and it's geared for the professional that's jumping in and out of these markets and really knows how to play the game. We have something for everybody, so come on down to the site. If you'd like to be a call anytime, 702-629-4755. And as always, send me your homework. I will evaluate your homework and send you back a message on what I think about it. You can send me those emails at oscar at futuresanalysts.com. All right, traders, enjoy your time off if you're taking time off. Have a great, safe holiday, and get ready to trade your butts off coming into next year because these markets are ready to rock and roll, and the first quarter of the year is always extremely busy, lots of movement, lots of times by the third month of this year, you get a crack in the market, so there's lots of things to look forward to, 
and to expect to happen, especially a lot of trading. So don't forget, come on down to the site. Don't do it alone. It's impossible to sit by yourself and figure out what's going on. That's what we're there at the site for. So come on down. All right, traders, I'm only going to say one last thing here. I say this in every video because it's helped so many of my traders to remove their emotions out of trading. And you know what that is? Come on, son. Stop Zarin! Emotions are out! Happy holidays, traders! You didn't say it. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. My boy. Alright, that's a wrap. I'm out of here. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.